Any day now, Governor Walz is expected to sign a bill into law making recreational pot legal. Minnesota will become the 23rd state to do that. Northern News Now's Larissa Millis reports on some of the potential economic and business impacts of that change. 34 eyes and 32 no's. The bill is passed. By August, Minnesotans 21 and older will legally be allowed to use marijuana and other cannabis products recreationally. Sales tax on all of it will be 10%. Um, I think the state will definitely start seeing some of those larger impacts that come from those um, different taxes and regulations. 80% of that tax revenue goes to the state, 20% to local governments. UMD economics professor Monica Haynes says revenue could reach 60 to 80 million dollars in a few years. And then, then a good chunk of the money is actually going to the local areas where the sales are happening. So um, that's just a, a big increase in funding for the state and local cities and municipalities. Haynes also anticipates more cannabis businesses opening up. But I think a lot of new businesses have started preparing for this reality for a several years so we are seeing some new business creation kind of in preparation and I think that will probably just continue to grow. There's a lot of dynamics at play. There's Jeff Brinkman owns Superior Cannabis Company which operates in Duluth and Austin, Minnesota. He says legalization has been a long time coming. You know we're very excited about it. It's something that Minnesota needed to do. Brinkman's business has sold CBD and THC products since 2018 after Brinkman and his partner discovered their medical benefits. But now with law changes, he has some concerns. With these things that, you know, are coming in the law, you know, we, we're really kind of questioning whether we can continue that and then also do adult use cannabis. That's because selling adult use cannabis would require a new license, which could cost up to $50,000. Still, Brinkman says the bill, especially the erasures of low level cannabis crimes, is a positive step forward. We were never of the opinion that the bill should be stopped because it's not necessarily a good bill. We think any progress is some progress. Progress blazing on. In Duluth, Larissa Millis, Northern News Now. As sales of marijuana in businesses are not expected to begin for at least a year as the newly created Minnesota Office of Cannabis Management will have to process and review all license applications, which they expect to take some time.